All right, this is day three of Muscle Music, a series in which I pick an album from this filter, uh, work out to it, and give it a score based off of that. Uh, if I've already heard the album, then I'll just pick a new one because I want them to be all new albums. I've already heard this album. Also, at only 55 on the list is interesting, but uh, I do love that album. Actually, I've been listening to it pretty recently, so uh, definitely a good one. Uh, I've also already heard Take Care. <laughs> Plus, to be fair, I've probably worked out to it in the past before. Uh, definitely my favorite Drake album, though. Definitely a lot of... Uh, his classics are on that one. Eric B. and Rakim, Paid in Full. I've heard the, uh, I ain't no joke off of this, but I've never heard the entire album, so let's do it. Pause and I complete when you can pan around with yours. I wake you up and as I stare in your face, you seem stunned. Rem All right, just finished my leg day. Here are my thoughts on uh, Paid in Full by Eric B. and Rakim. So this album came out in 1987, and that is rather old for a hip-hop release, but it still sounds very fresh and very modern. It was the benchmark of the quote-unquote golden age of hip-hop. I don't know if I agree with that, but um, it does a lot of things very early on that still people do to this day. You know, it still sounds relatively fresh, especially the... The, the bars and the vocals from Rakim, I think they still sound very fresh and great to this day. And his rap style is so ahead of its time. He was using internal rhymes. He was using rhymes that kind of wrapped around the bar, especially on uh, what was it, Eric B. as president, which is a huge highlight for me. I think his uh, his presence and his his pen game on, on this track, as well as other tracks on this album, is is legendary to me. Plus, a lot of the lyrics on this album from Rakim are pretty great as well. Um, you know, you still have that braggadocious style that a lot of people would go on to copy. But he also had this big, like, movement or kind of group aspect to it. Like, he was trying to start a movement with what he was saying. Even on tracks where, you know, he was referring to the MC as someone who would move the crowd as what MC would stand for. So I think a lot of what he's saying on this album is still pretty potent. And I, I enjoy what he's saying more than, you know, people just calling themselves the shit or, you know, whatever. Even Rakim's lyrics on the track, um, Eric B is president, he uses multisyllabic rhymes as well. So he says, um, I think he says man made to fix. If he bleeds, you don't need a no band-aid to fix. So I thought that's way ahead of its time and, you know, later down the line would influence all of the rappers you're seeing today, hopefully. So it's just another cool little aspect that really catches your ear in some of these tracks. Plus, a lot of what Eric B is doing on this, too, with the heavy use of uh, sampling as well as, you know, those really classic kind of boom bap sounds of, of the east coast it's a really big trendsetter because without eric b and rakim you don't have artists like de la soul uh tribe called quest even like biggie to an example so a lot of what they're doing on this is just trailblazing to the fullest extent and i love it that being said some of the production is pretty dated to an extent um there's a lot of older drum sounds there's a lot of like record scratching a lot of repeated sampling, which, you know, there's not a lot you can do about that. It is an older release, um, but it does sound a little dated in that aspect. But I would say for the majority of it, it has aged like a fine wine. Even some of like the remixes or like the gussied up versions of uh, other tracks that repeat again on the end of the record, like Paid in Full, as well as As the Rhyme Goes On. I think those versions are pretty fantastic as well. You know, slight production differences. Um, one's a radio edit, so it's a little bit shorter. Um, yeah, even those tracks were, were pretty fantastic as well. I love both elements of uh, both of those tracks. I will say with Eric B's production, there are some moments where he'll just kind of let the beat play, which is not necessarily my favorite, uh, especially on Eric B is President. I think it's like a six minute track. And most of the last like two and a half minutes are just his beat going off. So if you cut down a fair bit of this record, a lot of those little elements, I think it becomes a much better listen. I will give a shout out to my least favorite track though, which is Chinese Arithmetic, which is solely an Eric B produced track. There's no lyrics from Rakim. And it's kind of a hokey, like Asian influenced beat. They kind of use that really racist, like da -da 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 sample. And uh, was not a fan of that. The beat was fine, but it was just very hokey and bad taste. However, my favorite tracks have to go to Eric B's President, I Ain't No Joke, which is the only track I heard before this, and it still sounds great, um, as well as My Melody, which is another fantastic cut. Overall, it was pretty great to work out to, and it was a really fun listen, and I'd still listen to it to this day. 
I think I'm going to give it like a, uh, a, a mid to high 8 out of 10. It was really a, a, uh, a great listen for me. Follow for more, unless this app gets banned. Bye.